Hey guys, Mama Lani May P here. That's what my husband taught me um, on how to introduce myself in my blog. Uh, and so today I'm going to be talking about the blessings that I got since 2019 up to now. I know for others, they might think like, oh, it's pandemic and here's this woman talking about lots of positive things. Well, every story is unique. So mine is totally different from yours. And, and so here are my blessings. So let's start for 2019. Uh, so last year, I met my husband. Um, <laughs> when? When did I meet you? In, April, end yeah, of April. End of April. Do we have to discuss how we met? <laughs> I don't know, it's up to you. It, it's a secret for now. Secret. <laughs> but honestly, uh, I prayed for my husband because I thought I'm not going to get married. I'm not going to have my own family. And so I asked <laughs> the most powerful, um, I mean... I asked God uh, for help, so and He gave me Cody. So I'm very thankful, and I feel very blessed for, you know, giving me Cody as my husband and the father to my son. <laughs> jump, jump the gun there. <laughs> and then I graduated on June twenty seventh last year. I graduated gerontology. So, <laughs> gerontology is all about, um, babe, can you help me? <laughs> Working for seniors, giving seniors meaningful activities. <laughs> yes. Uh, in fact, I work in Victorian Order of Nurses as an activity aid. And what we do is we go to uh, the different houses of different clients and we give one-to-one -one activities for them. And yeah, it's very rewarding. And I miss my job. And then, what else, babe? In, in July, I applied for last, in July of last year, I applied for my Canadian citizenship. And that was, for me, I don't like paperwork. And I'm very lucky that my husband um, has helped me um, explaining some of the especially the difficult terms on the paperwork <laughs> and yeah finally it's it's done um, and then I always say and then in August of last year um, I, we found out that I was pregnant to our beautiful boy and I was very surprised when I couldn't believe it because um, that time I felt like I was always exhausted and every time I come home from work I would love to sleep on the couch all the time like like I'm always losing my my energy <laughs> because yeah I think uh, that was one of the symptoms that you know somebody's pregnant and I'm very happy. We're very happy that, um, yeah, we found out that I was pregnant. Although I was really surprised, very surprised. But it is a blessing. He is, he is a blessing. Um, so that was in, babe, in August. We found out that I was pregnant in August. And in October, I got engaged. <laughs> So a lot of things last year and this year um, that really happened so fast. Um, so I was engaged and yeah, the way he um, proposed to me was very unique. So he brought me to um, he brought me to Pierre Burton Library in Woodbridge because that's where we first met. And he proposed to me in inside his car, 
Is it your car or my car? car? Oh, my car. Because, oh, because that day we helped my sister and my brother uh, move their things to New Market. That's, yes, yes. And then after that, we were, we were very tired, but he still found a way to, uh, <laughs> he tried his best to propose to me on that day. And so, yes, he, I was very surprised, like, oh, after we, because we spent the whole day moving things from Woodbridge to Newmarket. After that, we decided to go home, but I noticed that we went back to Woodbridge and I asked him, like, why are we here? What are we doing here? And he says, like, he, and that time he said, like, oh, I would just, like, grab something at Walmart and Woodbridge. I said, okay. But um, I already noticed, like, <laughs> there was something fishy about it. I don't know what it was, but, yeah. And so, yes, he proposed to me, and um, he put the ring <laughs> in a container of apples, of slices of apples. And and there's a reason why he did that. Um, the first time we met, I offered him um, <laughs> some slices of apples. And, um, yeah, and he, and he did not forget that. And f for him, that was... That kind of act for him was really outstanding, I guess. So, and he repeated it again during his proposal to me. I did not cry, but I was very, very happy. Too tired to cry. <laughs> <laughs> very preggy that time. I was very preggy, but I was very happy um, for everything that he prepared, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> Yes, I love you, babe. <laughs> love you too. Um, yes, so I was engaged in October of last year. And in 2020, oh, my pregnancy was also something new for me. So that was a journey as a new preggy, as a new mother. Um, and of... Um, what happened next? Oh, of course. Uh, Raphael was born in May 19, on May 19 of this year. But before that, I know, babe, I missed something. <laughs> um, Jumped ahead. Yes, I took an exam. Uh, I took the uh, Canadian citizenship examination um, of this year, February of this year. And yeah, I was very excited. And before that, I prepared. I did a lot of preparations. I really studied the guidebook about the history of Canada. And yeah, it was very studious. Like every weekend I had, I prepared for how many months, babe? 10 months? No. Uh, it was like, uh, because we found out last year, maybe after a few months. They I got... think it was only like two months. I think we found out in January. Mm -hmm. Maybe after Christmas. And then you took the exam in February. So really not that much time to prepare mm -hmm. like maybe a month month and a half but my husband was really like encouraging and telling me like no you don't have to study the entire book for one day you have to do it like um let's say once a week so just like do some baby steps so you you will i will not be uh, i wouldn't be overwhelmed mm -hmm. and yes so i took his advice and it was really good and he even like quizzed me there were there were like times that he quizzed me about um, the history of Canada everything about Canada and it's it's very educational for me to learn to learn more about Canada and I'm glad I passed the the exam <laughs> in February uh, of this year I, I passed the exam of the Canadian Canadian citizenship uh, I passed it and I had an oath taking after my birthday. It, it was on July 29th. Yeah, so that was my... Did I forget any other things? No, that's it. Just like Raphael being born. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like leapfrog that one. All right. So wait. 
So after the exam, after you passed your exam in February, mm -hmm. and the next big milestone was in May when Raphael, when was, Raphael born, was born. Son. Thank yeah. you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. So yes, Raphael was born uh, May 19th. I was very, very happy when, you know, the nurse laid Raphael on my chest. Yes, I cried. I really cried. We both cried. Yeah. <laughs> Tears of joy. Yeah. Because of all the hard work of pushing Raphael, because it took me um, more than an hour pushing Raphael, and I did the natural natural del delivery, and and um, yes, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> it's not easy, and I'm glad Raphael is okay. So yep. So my my son was born of uh, this year in May. Yes. So it is a wonderful blessing for us, and of course, so to my fam, to our families as well. And babe, the citizenship. So I did my oath taking on July of this year, July twenty ninth, twenty twenty. So the oath taking was done online, and Zoom. I did, yes through Zoom. So that's an app, right? Yeah. Um, and um, what happened? Um, it was very awkward. Yes, but my again, I want to share to you that my husband was very supportive to me. Uh, that time he was very excited to me uh, that you know finally I'm uh, I am already like a a citizen, a Canadian citizen. And yes, it's so awkward doing it online. I've never done oath taking online, so that was a new experience, and um, <laughs> um, but I'm glad that uh, finally I have completed the oath taking, and now I'm a Canadian citizenship. I, I mean, I'm a Canadian citizen, not. A <laughs> Sorry about the mistake, and finally I'm now a Canadian citizen. Um, what else, babe? Uh oh actually during the oath taking you you had to um use the um french words remember yeah you have to say the oath in english and french oh because canada is bilingual right mm -hmm. and so yeah that was like funny but because i am i am not so sure if I'm saying the French words correctly, right? So I'm very uh, not comfortable, but of course you still have to do your best. And we were told that even if you don't say it properly, <laughs> doesn't mean that you will not be a Canadian citizen. So yeah, so that that was like, um, uh, again, a unique experience. And the the last thing that I wanted to discuss in this blog is our wedding yes so mm -hmm. we got married this year on august 29th 2020 in woodbridge but promise we only had a small number of guests because um we were saving, saving. <laughs> and aside from that we were also worried about you know the the health of our loved ones and if but even if it was a small wedding there there was a lot of preparation yes many things of, to prepare yes such as many expenses <laughs> but my wedding dress is very cheap <laughs> yeah. i'm just kidding yes it is it is really uh, uh like very affordable but i'm i'm very satisfied of it and it's really pretty it suits me and so i have nothing to complain about what happened in my wedding even if my husband is beside me i don't i'm not really trying <laughs> to turning into a wedding grievances video <laughs> <laughs> no it's yeah. not no it's it's a beautiful wedding mm. i wish i could share to you the video of our wedding yes it's a, and it's a a dream come true wedding um because we held it in in woodbridge there is this um it's on a hilltop 
McMichael. Yes, in McMichael. Yeah, in McMichael Art Gallery. So, beside the hilltop, there is the gallery. Uh, we chose that place uh, for the reason that um, we date when we were dating. Uh, mm -hmm. We used we discovered that place through our um, walks, long walk. <laughs> I made him work before, you know, yeah. <laughs> before uh, um, accepting his proposal. <laughs> and uh, yes, so it was it was a beautiful wedding, intimate and um, memorable one. And um, yes, I wish I could uh, show you some some photos of our wedding. Actually, my profile pic for my YouTube channel is my um, w wedding photo, yes. Yeah. So that's, yes, I'm wearing that beautiful, affordable dress. Dress and fascinator. <laughs> yes, the fascinator. Both so, uh, rentals. Yes, those are rentals. So we didn't buy brand new um, stuff, except for an extra fascinator and the shoes. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy my blog today, and I hope um, <laughs> it's not boring. Well, thank you so much for your time, and again, don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. That's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I love my husband so much. Well, take care, everyone, and goodbye. Bye.